What's up guys, today we're going to be going over themes, so as always you can head over to my blog where I'll have every single command that I run in the video. Um, also you can check out the development here on uh, its NVIM on my repo and I'll leave a link for that as well in the description. So let's get started. Um, if you've been following along with the series then you know we have Autoload and Vimplug here that are handling our plugins. Uh, general for all of our general key mappings, or well, general for all of our general settings, keys for all of our key mappings, and an init.vim to just source everything. So let's get started with themes. So the first thing we'll have to do is just pick a theme, right? And so here's the one I'm going to use. Um, it's called One Dark, and you can use any one you want, and I'll link at the bottom. I'll show you how to uh, use any theme, right? So let's open up, um, let's open up Vimplug, plugins, and we'll add it right here. So we'll just grab this, and now paste should work, yep, after the last video. And we'll actually have to save it and reopen it to install the plugin. So now we can do plug install. And there you go, it should be right there. I think I already had it installed previous to this, so that's why it was so fast for me. All right, so, oh yeah. All right, so now that we have the plugin, we'll create a directory called themes. Okay, and a file named after the theme in themes. It doesn't have to be named after the theme, but this is a good way to keep multiple different themes on uh, in your settings at once, right? So let's go into themes and open it up. So this, all of this stuff right here is just what I got off the readme from the author. So if you have a different theme, it's going to be different, right? So you're going to set a different color scheme. This is, uh, typically you'll do something like this. So um, checks if your terminal has 24-bit color support. Um, also, this is something that this theme offers, which is the um, italics. So you can see that here, uh, 256, some, not all themes support 256, and a few other options. But this is all s specific to this exact theme, One Dark, right? Same with this. I like this theme because it lets me use the uh, background of my terminal. That's what all of this guy is doing up here, right? So we'll save that. And the last thing that we'll have to do to get it loaded is add this to our init.vim. All right, and now you can see all of the colors are a little bit different, but let's go open something else, right? Let's go into some code. We'll go into, I don't know, um, how about this one, this one, and we'll open up, I don't know. I don't know if this is a big file or not. There we go. So now you can see the theme has been updated. Um, everything looks a little, in my opinion, everything looks a lot better. And uh, you get nice highlighting of the current number that you're on here. I don't think it did that before. And the, just the syntax highlighting, everything just looks better. And this is just one theme. So we can install other ones and I'll show you guys that. All right, so you can check out this repo here that I linked at the bottom, and this guy's repo has a link to tons of different themes that you can use. Um, so like I know a really popular one is Nord. So the same thing applies. Like if you wanna install this one, just follow along with this guy's readme and whatever page, he, I think they have some documentation. Um, same with any of these other ones. I know Solarized is pretty popular. Um, and all you'll have to do is go into your themes and add a new one, like add nord.vim and then add all the settings that you want in there and the color scheme in there. Um, and then all you'll have to do to switch themes at any moment is open this up and instead of sourcing one dark, you'll source nord or you'll source um, or solarized or whatever, right? 
So that's pretty much it for this video. Make sure to like and subscribe.